and welcome to our video tutorial today. This is part two of how to blur out faces. In the first one, we uh, worked with a static image of an individual and blurred out his face, but you know what? People actually move. And I got a question from one of our fellow YouTubers. Well, how do you make this thing move as the person moves? Well, that's an excellent question, and I thought we better do a tutorial on that. First of all, I've got the snip here that I want to uh, uh, blur out someone's face. I have a motorcycle. A uh, guy, and uh, you don't want to mess with these guys, so I thought I better blur his face out so I wouldn't get into legal trouble. So what I did is I have my clip, and then I duplicated another clip right underneath it. All I had to do is right-click on that and then duplicate track. And so now I have uh, two of the exact same tracks on top of each other. Of course, right now I'm only seeing the top track. And so what I'm going to do is mute the bottom track so that when I do some of the manipulations I'm going to do, I'm not distracted by it. And I'm going to go up here to the cookie cutter effect and I'm going to drag down the circle center right like that. And you notice that a circle, everything else has been cut out of that and that's what I want. And I'm going to center this around the guy that I want to blur his face out. And then I want to adjust the size of it just to be on his face. Very slowly adjust it. Do it a little bit bigger than I have to so that we can see it easy enough. So that's our first area that we want to blur out. Now I'm not going to do anything with the blur right now because I want to follow this little cookie cutter right along with this guy moving. This is the important part. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance the cursor, the scrub line, a little ways, just like that. And watch as he moves. We're going to move this control right along with it. Right now I'm going to need to move the control, the position control, for my cookie cutter effect right over his face again. And you notice right here a keyframe has been created. So there's motion in between. It's going to cause this little cookie cutter effect to start following his face. I'm going to advance it slowly again as he starts to move away. I'm going to move the control a little bit more and center it. Another keyframe has been made. Let's do it again. You can make as many keyframes, in other words, as many subtle motions as you want to do. In fact, the more subtle you make the keyframes, the better it's going to follow along. Now, this is something that can be quite time consuming. This is only like a 10 second clip, and already you're seeing that that's going to take a little bit of time to make elements blur out like this because you're moving. You're moving and creating a keyframe each time. But this is one of the things that you have to do in order to make a successful effect work right. So now we keep moving it along, adjusting our control so that it's right over his face, getting towards the end now. Let's move it some more. There. Keep following him right along here. It'd be nice to be able to tell people, stand still. If you're going to do a lot of this, you'll probably tell people, don't move around, just stay there. That's uh, probably not very realistic. A couple more times and I think we'll be done. One more time. There we go. Now let's see if we're actually following his movements. Let's rewind this and play it. Okay, the next step, now that we've followed his movement, the next step is to actually blur it out. And you're going to go to the Gaussian Blur. You can use a pixelate uh, effect also, but I, I think the blur works nicer. And I'm going to go with Medium Blur and drag that in the top one you see automatically that that has been blurred out. And you don't have to do a keyframe for this at all. Now we're going to unmute that bottom, and now everything fills in except for his face. Now, let's uh, see if we can play this, but play it much slower. So that gives you an idea on how to create a blur effect on people's faces as they move. 